yeah continue medical tourism what is medical tourism medical tourism is the practice of traveling to another country to receive medical treatment this can be done for a variety of reasons including cost access to spe specialized care or a desire to receive care in a more relaxed environment mm. benefits of medical tourism for an economy increased revenue medical tourism can generate significant revenue for a country's economy the global medical tourism market size was estimated to be us dollar 35.77 billion in 2022 it is projected that the market will experience a compound annual growth rate of 12.2 percentage between the years 2022 and 2032 job creation Medical tourism can create jobs in a number of sectors, including healthcare, hospitality, and transportation. In India, for example, the medical tourism industry is estimated to support over two million jobs. Mm. Foreign mm. foreign exchange earnings. Med medical tourism can also generate foreign exchange earnings for a country. In 2022, medical tourism from the United States spent an estimated dollar uh, 11.1 billion in India. Improved healthcare infrastructure. Medical tourism can help improve a country's healthcare infrastructure. In order to attract medical tourists, countries need to invest in their healthcare facilities and services. This can lead to better quality healthcare for all citizens. Increased tourism. Medical tourism can also help increase tourism to a country. Medical tourists often spend time exploring the countries they are visiting, which can boost the tourism industry. Very good. Next, uh, our uh, Valarmati. Valarmati, India's. India's medical tourism sector, high quality of care. India has a large pool of highly skilled doctors and surgeons who are trained in some of the best medical institutions in the world. Affordability. Medical costs in India are significantly lower than in many developed countries. Convenience. India is a relatively easy country to travel to and from, and there are a number of English training hospitals and clinics. English, no, no, this, this sentence is not correct. And there are a number of English-speaking English English doctors in hospitals and clinics. Mm. Yeah, sentence is wrong. Continue. Excellent. Excellent infrastructure. India has a well-developed medical infrastructure with, with state-of-the-art hospitals and clinics. The top medical tourism destinations in India are Chennai, Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore and Hyderabad. One minute, I think we can change it. And uh, there are a number of English speaking doctors. Uh, doctors, doctors, comma, nurses in hospitals. Okay, right. Now, next one challenges for hmm. challenges for India's medical tourism language barrier. India is a multilingual country. And many medical tourists may not speak Hindi or English. This can make it difficult to communicate with doctors and staff. Accessibility and transportation. India's vast geographical size and diverse locations pose challenges in terms of accessibility and transportation for national and international patients. Mm. Lack of awareness. Many people are not aware of the benefits of medical tourism in India. This is due to lack of information and promotion. Mm. Lack of standardization. India has a large pool of highly skilled doctors and surgeons, but the quality of care can vary from hospital to hospital. Good. Next is our ADO Sruti. Please read conclusion. Conclusion. Medical tourism has become a global trend, providing individuals with the opportunity to seek medical treatments in foreign countries. India has emerged as a prominent destination for medical tourism due to its affordable healthcare services and skilled medical professionals. However, challenges related to the variability in the quality of care and the need for standardization, as well as creating more accessibility and transportation need to be addressed. 
by focusing on these areas and leveraging its strengths, India can further enhance its position as a leading player in the medical tourism industry, benefiting both patients and the country's economy. Yeah, one minute. Yeah. Yeah, this is okay. We have studied that now. Now the topic is open for. Acha, would you like to read some more uh, points relating to this? Um, are there any other references they have given? No. Okay. Now, um, based on this, you can discuss or you want to see some more means what we should do. We should put medical tourism and uh, yeah just search like that you will get so many points medical tourism like this doesn't matter now we will start discussing it is now what is the time now oh it's already 5 15 yeah please can go ahead for next 10 minutes discussion on medical tourism. Please speak. First, it will be our Mathematics Sruti, followed by Valarmati, followed by Sruti. Continue. Okay, sir. I am here. Uh, I am going to tell about medical tourism. No, 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 no. Whenever we participate in group discussions or discussions and all, we should always say, Good morning, friends. Good evening, friends. Like that. Uh, after telling that, you should start so that you come closer to the people. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, good evening, friends. I am going to tell about medical tourism. Medical tourism is uh, the process of travel of people from one place to another or uh, to another country uh, for their medical treatment. They can travel. Uh, they are they travel outside uh, their country because of uh, so many reasons uh, like low cost of uh, treatment, uh, better quality of treatment, etc. Also, uh, by this, uh, they, they can visit the nearest uh, tourist place of that country with the, uh, without any extra cost. Medical tourism is also develop. Uh, medical tourism is a developing concept, and nowadays uh, many tourists visit India for their men, uh, medical needs. We can see uh, so many yoga centers, meditation centers, and Ayurvedic uh, hospital in Kerala. Also, uh, this became a separate industry here. Uh, government also stated that India is going to become a uh, medical tourism hub. Uh, soon so we can serve and save lives of uh, so many people today uh, uh, millions of people are visiting india for their treatment so we get more uh, foreign exchange money uh, through their visit okay. uh, it all sufficient okay. sufficient but okay. uh, did you repeat some points uh, i think today so many foreign tourists visit India for medical tourism. We are ah, yes, foreign exchange. I think that point you repeated. I didn't catch about the other points you repeated. Doesn't matter. Ah, no problem. Okay. But you seem to have talked uh, nicely. Good. Thank you, the sir. Communication was good. Were you seeing the screen and reading or what? No, sir. You were talking I, of your. I prepared. Uh, I prepared yesterday and. Uh, Very talk good. Uh, practice doll. Did you practice? practice sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I good. practice a lot. Very good. Uh, now our uh, Valar Mati. Yes, sir. Good evening, friends. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to discuss about medical tourism. Uh, medical tourism can be defined as a process of traveling outside the country for the purpose of receiving medical care. Uh, mostly people from less developed countries or traveling to developed countries for getting their medical treatment which are not available in their country. 
and uh, many people engage in tourism because the procedure they want may be uh, low cost in the in uh, some other country uh, many people choose this specific de destination uh, to take their medical treatment that are available that which are not available uh, in their hometown and according to the recent report of uh, Gohan, uh, there are three types of medical tourism services uh, that are illegal in the uh, in both patients uh, country and the destination country uh, uh, for uh, treatment such as uh, joint replacement and uh, services that are uh, illegal in their home country and uh, legal in the destination country uh, for stem cell uh, transformation and uh, services that are illegal in both uh, countries uh, for uh, organ transplantation uh, and uh, medical tourism also increases the economy of the country because uh, people uh, who are going to some other countries for medical treatment they can also explore the areas uh, near near to the uh, near to the place uh, where they stay. Mm. That's it, sir. Sir, am I audible? No, yeah, you are audible. Good, good. I was uh, uh, deleting another uh, post here. So that was the thing. Uh, yeah, doesn't matter. Good. Valarpati, you talk nicely. Your confidence has improved. Only practice. Practice is what is helping you. And uh, in fact... Sir, I, you... just, I just uh, read uh, in uh, group discussion ideas.com and other than that, I read... Uh, uh, read from Chrome, Google Chrome only and take some points good. which I like. Very good. That is good. <laughs> but being persons in Kerala, you can talk something more like uh, mathematics Ruti did, you know, like uh, you have Ayurvedic centers, hospitals and all and uh, they are doing and which places are famous for that and if you remember which hospital is good in that regard? You can mention about that. Aluwa, you have a... Um, Rajagiri Hospital. Achha, achha. You, you have um, this uh, Ayurvedic hospital. Kotakal Ayurveda. Ayurvedic Kotakal Ayurveda. Kotakal Ayurveda also. Is, where is Kotakal? Kotakal Ayurveda is somewhere, but here also branch is there. No, no. Kotakal is... Where is real Kotakal? Uh, is there a place like Kotakal or not? Or it is the name of a uh, pharmacy? Our um, ADO Sruti, please tell me. Kotakal Ayurveda, it is called sir. because name of the place or what? No, sir. It is from Malapram district. Hmm. It is from uh, the name of the village only, sir, that Kotakal. I think because in Chennai also it is there. Uh, yeah, it, is. it is everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. Uh, Kotakal Ayurveda, USA also it is there. See, these are the things. Are you Sir, it's a this? family name, Kotakal. Mm. Uh, uh, I just went through the Google, so I saw that. Vidyarthana. Mm, no, uh, no, no, no. Vidyatran P. S. Vaga, he is the founder of the Scottical Ayurveda Shala. Uh, his family name is the Scottical. Mm -hmm. Acha, his family name is that. I thought, like Kotayam, there is a place known as Kotakal. No. There is no such place like that. Very good. Um, Valarmati, any other points you would like to speak of? Now, um, no, sir. In what way Kerala state is helping increasing the medical tourism or how the doctors and nurses from Kerala are helping other countries for medical tourism? So this question, can you answer now? Sir, already medical tourism is a good only here, sir. Mm. Be uh, because uh, when uh, we went to hospital, means there are a lot of uh, people from foreign 
to take treatments there also mm. and uh, and they are also trying to in increase uh, their uh, increasing their quality of healthcare also yeah, actually, but even in in when compared to tamil nadu kerala you said when we went that is wrong when we go when we go yeah when we already went went no sir that's it when no 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 we should not say when we go to the hospital we see like this or when you want to tell in the past tense when i went to the hospital i the saw hospital. like that it will come very good uh, now uh, who has to speak uh, ado sruti please speak yes sir good morning sir and good evening my friends thank you for giving me an opportunity to discuss on the topic medical tourism with, uh, developing in india uh, uh medical tourism it is a growing sector um, which is in india in india as per uh, the current uh, re report annual report we can see that uh, the estimated revenue of this uh, medical tourism sector is about us dollar 35 billion uh, and uh, the medical tourism center the in india the healthcare uh, healthcare capital is known as the uh, city chennai uh, recently the government of india has uh, set up various medical centers in uh, various cities like chennai uh, mumbai uh, bangalore uh, hyderabad etc these are the main uh, centers in which the international connectivity can be made easy easily available also the language barrier can also be avoided also there the international tourists can uh, get their food and accommodation at an affordable cost and in the current scenario uh, in india the in this medical field we we uh, have good uh, qualified doctors experts who has adopted latest medical technologies and we can uh, get these services at an affordable cost and uh, government of india has also supported is supporting this medical tourism many ways by uh, providing loans uh, e visa for the tourists tourists who are coming then uh, new initiatives like ayushman bharat digital uh, mission also introduced to support this uh, sector then uh, medical uh, tours uh, uh, nowadays uh, in india not only the uh, latest technology uh, the uh, traditional practices of uh, medical has also been uh, used like Ay ayurveda yoga unani siddha homeopathy these all uh, practices are also used in this type of uh, sector so in this way the main theme of this uh, usage traditional practice is that uh, Mm. Uh, is that lower the dosage with a uh, with a uh, good effectiveness with more effectiveness so that we can get good treatment with less medical uh, support and also uh, we can see there is a tremendous uh, transformation from the beginning of the medical tourism uh, till the date and we can expect many more uh, developments in the sector thank you yeah but you know, i wanted some more points like say kerala is the one state which is sending a lot of doctors and also nurses to foreign countries especially middle east and other things that point also can be told but of course that has got no relevance to this particular topic good very good now any other questions you would like to ask did you go through the newspaper i have given in the um say this is today i think i have given which newspaper i think times of india times of india or yeah so that's what i have given now regarding synonyms antonym we will do it differently today yeah they have given like this oh ho Um, sir, I have a doubt, sir. Yeah, please ask. Sir, every day, Shruti greet you like good morning, sir, and uh, greet us to good evening. Yeah, sir, that... are you not in in India? No, no, I am there in Canada. 
but okay, okay. shruti knows i am in canada that is why she is telling good morning sir okay so ah, when, okay. but whenever okay. i talk i always tell the people good evening candidates that's how i will tell them because ah. she she has been with us for the last over 10 days so she has become very free in the sense that she as she considers it right to tell it like that i don't expect you to announce tell it as good morning and all that uh, mostly it starts like this i will wish the candidates good evening and they will say good oh. evening sir Alla, i i i think uh, sir you are in tamil nadu so i just mm-hmm. ask no 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 i am i am since uh, november 2021 i am away only i am away only so that is what uh, it is uh, one minute i'll stop sharing it and i will take one or two questions uh, we can't do many things but we can do a few questions now yeah just a minute mm. sir today i didn't read the newspaper you gave sir you did not read newspaper no sir i read hindu only you What? gave times of india sir ah, i gave times of india it doesn't matter any one newspaper we should read and um, if you get into you read that also nothing wrong sir i am um, buying in the newspaper sir that's why i am acha you are buying at home buying at home very good yes then that, that is very good that's really good yeah but we have to focus on the editorial part or uh, whatever the news i like what whatever news you better. like whatever news you like you read and when you come across uh, any difficult word please go to dictionary and find out what is the meaning and try to know about it usually i read the editorial sir because it helps for my exams for that yeah, yeah. Okay. now uh this time edo shruti please read the directions yes sir are you seeing on the screen yes sir mm. directions in each of the following questions four words are given of which two are most nearly the same or opposite in meaning find the two words which are most nearly the same or opposite in meaning and find the number of correct letter combination please read the question number 1 a enthralling mm. b respecting c mm. projecting d alluring mm. and uh, they have given some meaning also enthral means what enthral enjoy it is given happiness no no here uh, uh, to, ca- to capture the whole uh, whole of somebody's attention to interest or entertain somebody greatly okay Allure. allure allure the quality of being attractive or charming what uh, what is the answer for this option 4 ad <laughs> how did you get it immediately sir i know the meaning of enthralling and alluring mm. respecting means to respect someone projecting means uh, to raise or increase project very good excellent now we will go to uh, valarmathi valarmathi please yes, go sir. to question number 2 a uh, soup butter blum boil soup to come down suddenly with a rushing movement blum down to fall or drop something suddenly and heavily um next to butter to make somebody very worried to worry to disturb somebody mm. sir answer is a c 3 3 swoop swoop means to come down suddenly with a rushing movement then c means plump down plump plump means what is the meaning of plump one minute to fall or drop something no no plump down means to fall or drop down something heavily uh but one minute 
that is not given as the answer doesn't matter. Um, all other boil, what is the meaning of boil? Mm. Boil Bo means boil. <laughs> Boil means boil in there. Boil. Boil is a painful bump that forms under your skin. Ah, that is a disease, you know. We get boil on our head, hand and all. Burn. 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 Another one is to boil water, to boil liquid. That is to heat. Okay. To heat something that is also known as boil. One boil is the say some problems we get on our uh, skins. Skin. Yeah, that is right. Now please uh, hear the answer. Can you go for some other answer? Okay, sir. Um, BD also. BD fourth fourth. But the correct answer is three. A and C. Swoop that, and plump. That's what you said. Correct. What you said is right. Sir, we can go for me opposite also, right, sir? It, if, it, if, the, if there is an opposite, you can find out that also. If, but in this case, everything is one. Um, all the three are together. Boil is an unrelated one. It is not related to this. So the answer is, as you said rightly, 3 A C. Now, Suruti of mathematics. Continue with three. Uh, A. Concise. B. Elegant. C. Indifferent. D. Indecorous. Indecorous. Are Baba, in this, in this question paper, they have given the meaning for all the words. So nice. Please read. Can, but, can, uh, concise. Brief. Giving a lot of information in few words. Mm. Elegant, graceful and attractive in appearance of, or manner. Mm. Indifferent, having no interest in somebody or something, not caring about somebody or something. Indecorous, showing a lack of dignity, good manners or good taste. Mm. Uh, elegant in the course. BD. Uh, BD. Five, sir, answer is uh, BD. Is it same or opposite? Opposite. Good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Next, uh, uh, we will go to ADO Sruti. Please do four, yes, and, four and five. Fourth question, fifth okay. question. Please do it quickly. Continue. A, acquit, B, defend, C, forbid, D, contempt. Acquit, to declare somebody uh, to declare somebody to be not guilty of crime. Defend, to act, speak, or write in support of somebody or something. To protect somebody or something from harm. To guard somebody or something. Forbid, to order somebody not to do something. Contempt, to say that... The, that one disapproves strongly of somebody or something to criticize somebody or something. <laughs> yeah. Mm, number four. What is the answer? Sir, option three, four bit contempt. Option, C. option three. C, C. Uh, third option, C, D. Forbid means to order somebody not to do something. But the other one, D is condemn. Condemn means to disapprove. Achha, you, say, you say both are similar. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. But the answer given is different. Four, mm -hmm. B and B. D. Defend and, and con condemn. Defend means to support somebody. Condemn means to oppose some point or somebody. Good. Sruti, next question also. Sir, it's not visible on the other side. Achha, achha. It's not coming. This one? No, yes, sir. Coming? Now it's okay. Ah, ah. Now it's okay. Now it's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, five, fallacy, adage, dictum, endorse. Uh, fallacy, 
a false or mistaken belief at age a traditional phrase is expressing a general truth dictum a short often well known statement a saying endorse to give one's approval or support a claim statement or course of action mm. uh, fallacy and adage a b option 5 fallacy a false or mistaken belief adage, adage means traditional truth. phrases expressing general truth uh yeah opposite but, meaning um, sir but, i uh, sorry sir i think adage and dictum is the word because uh, they are say like expressing the general truth and a well known statement adage mm. and dictum mm. b c option 3 option 3 3 yeah b and c adage and dictum dictum correct adage and dictum same adage same is meaning. adage is traditional phrase expressing general truth dictum is short often well known statement of say good correct only now we will go to valarmati 6 and 7 yes Val valarmati elevate elevate frugal excelled lament mm. elevate to raise somebody or something to a higher place or rank mm. frugal using as little as possible of something especially money or food mm. excel to show or feel great joy because of something that has happened mm. lament to feel or express great sorrow or regret for somebody or something yeah valarmati so are you a Um, liberal person or a frugal person i am a ah, yes normally liberal, in, liberal, liberal normally, only, sir. normally in cooking especially cooking and uh, making uh, ready food for people and all are you liberal. are you liberal or frugal liberal sir liberal then if you do mm. it liberal means uh, many times things the food may be wasted na overnight i cook what whatever we what what is necessary that kind of that amount only i cook sir such that means you are frugal but it must be sufficient to everyone frugal yeah. means not sufficient right sir insufficient yeah yeah good yeah. excellent so sir, you answer are... cd answer is cd 1 very good c is what exult yes. d is what c is lament. great joy lament this sorrow excellent uh, opposite both are opposite super very good uh, um valarmati go to seven thank you sir uh, uh, sarat teachers mm. tacky tan exaggerate covert sarat teachers done no, or but, acting oh, sir i don't know i think tacky turn i think so not tacky turn tacky turn tacky turn tacky turn sarat teachers done or acting secretly or in a way that one does not want others to notice mm. ta tacky turn saying very little not communicating a lot mm. exaggerate to make something seem larger better worse etc than uh, it really is mm. uh, covert concealed or secret not open sir mm. answer is a d a d correct one is the answer same both are same surreptitious uh, covert Ka surreptitious and also covert in fact normally women you know they save money surreptitiously when yes. as when <laughs> when husband gives money they save money for uh, uh, that is uh, that that is a good quality but the problem comes or dispute comes only when the girl spends money for her family correct valarmati yeah, usually that uh, that's correct sir <laughs> but i know <laughs> i don't want you to comment let it be like that now we will go to uh, next person our shruti mathematics 
handy uh, uh, spares re, uh, re, redundant redundant exhaust your internet handy, is not all useful right. handy useful convenient mm. uh, spares in small amounts thin and scattered mm. redundant mm. no longer needed exhausted very tired uh, mm. I don't get the answer. Mm -hmm. Sir, option uh, B, C. B, C. Hello, no, sir. Handy and redundant. Opposite Correct. words. Yeah. You, uh, Useful and num uh, number one choice number one. Uh, I see. Okay. Very good. Your internet is uh, having fever, you know. <laughs> it is saying like that. <laughs> are you getting messages properly from me? Of what we are talking? Yes, sir. I get properly. Achha, achha. Now, now it is okay. I good. saw the video uh, in YouTube. There is also some uh, uh, problem in my voice. Yeah, shaking. Very good. Now continue yeah. to number nine question. Timid, uh, conceited, humane, modest, mm. timid, easily frightened, shy, uh, conceit, excessive pride in oneself or in one's powers, abilities, etc. Humane, having or showing sympathy, kindness, and understanding. Mm. Modest. Modest. Uh, modest not taking uh, not taking much or boasting about one's abilities not talking much uh, not talk, taking not uh, talking much uh, talking, talking much uh, or boasting about one's yeah, abilities seven. yeah number nine what is the answer uh, Sir, is it BD? Correct. Conceited opposite. and modest opposite. Very good. Opposite. The last one, you complete this one. Conversion. Number 10. Con conversion, desistance, substitution, cess uh, cessation. Sir. Cessation. Sir, how is cessation? Ces cessation. Cess means uh, one meaning of cess is uh, levying some tax being put on some property or some things that is cess. Another one is education says education tax. Cessation means stop. So please read the meaning. This is to, uh, that is to stop something or doing something. Mm. Uh, cessation, cessation, the action or act of stopping, a pause. Mm. Uh, uh, desistance cessation, sir. Correct. Option Correct. Or Correct. Super. I think in many of the answers, they give the meaning of the words that are actually involved also. But in many others, they are giving mixed answers also. But this seems to be a good paper. Shall I give this to you? Will you read it? Or shall we do it only in the class? Valarbati, wait la padiping la kurta. Time is good. We will do it in the class. No problem. And um, uh, I will try to add this in our WhatsApp. If you fine. read, if you read, fine. If you don't read, uh, no problem. That we will take it up. Achha, tomorrow, what is the topic we are going to take up? Achha, achha. Tomorrow, one minute. Tomorrow, tomorrow, group discussion. Group discussion ideas.com. Which topic would you like to have? Group discussion ideas.com. Yeah, latest latest post is medical tourism. We have done it. 
Sustainable Development Goals. Very boring topic, but still we will take it. Sustainable Development Goals. Valarmati? Yes, sir. Sustainable Development Goals. Please post in our group. Tomorrow's okay. topic like that. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I think nobody is coming for interview today. I gave a person's number, but he has not come. I messaged him. He is not coming. So I will start my next class at 6.30 p.m. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Very good. Thank tomorrow, you, sir. Yeah, tomorrow we'll meet at 5 o'clock. And okay, uh, yeah, and in the meantime, um, I have given Times of India. If time permits, you read. Otherwise, no compulsion. But nowadays, news is mainly about the train accident. Somebody says it is sabotage. Somebody says it is not like that. That is going on. Another problem is that um, Bihar Bridge falling down and all that. Anyhow, thank you so much. Best wishes.